Somebody lose a wagon? Always make sure it's connected before you leave. <laughs> I'm sitting here in Pembina. Still. So I've been sitting here for 13 hours and one minute. Waiting for our customs broker to clear the paperwork. The funny thing is that there was two of us. There was two loads. Identical loads, identical paperwork. Just a different par of sticker and identification for the border. The other one got cleared right away. For some reason, mine... No one knows why, they just haven't cleared it yet. Things are finally happening and it looks like our clearance will be done in just a few minutes here. Patience. Patience is an absolute must if you want to be a truck driver. There's a lot of hurry up and wait that happens and there's a lot of delays that are not your fault but that you have to pay the price for. It's all part of it so we'll be moving here soon I'm not very happy about this delay I'm half a day late getting old blue to the shop for its service thank goodness I have a great shop at PBX there that uh, understands what's going on I've been keeping them updated letting them know what's going on the truck was supposed to be there last night already and then it was supposed to be there first thing this morning and then it was gonna be there late morning and then it was gonna be there at noon now it's gonna be there in the afternoon so it's getting pushed back, pushed back. But I've been I've been filling them in what's going on so that you know trucks that were lined up behind me they can get jumped in front of me uh, until I get there, and then hopefully they can get me in either uh, uh, either today yet or tomorrow. I mean I need the truck back by by Saturday for sure. Today is Thursday, so Saturday. Um, these videos get released several days behind. So my next trip I leave on Saturday, and by the time you watch this, I'm probably back home already. We're headed out to the East Coast. I have four drops. Uh, we got first drop in Virginia, and we have one drop in Massachusetts and one drop in Maine, and there's another drop somewhere in there too. I think there might be another one in Massachusetts or somewhere around this. So we'll be in the New England area, and then I've got a reload coming back home. So, me getting across the border now, like very soon, uh, affects all of next week. So if I don't get across soon, that's gonna push back everything. And the load that I'm taking is a hot load. It needs to be there on time. It has a scheduled delivery date. And there's people that, I, th I think there's people there that fly there to meet me, or that they're gonna meet me there anyways. I don't know if they fly there or if they come from wherever, but it's a very specific appointment time and it's very important. It can't be late. That means I can't leave late. So I've gotta get across the border, I've gotta get the truck to the shop, I've gotta get it serviced, and every, anything else that needs to get done before I have to leave. So far, we're still on schedule, so there's nothing to really complain about yet, but uh, you know, I don't like waiting 24 hours. It's been over 24 hours that uh, uh, we've been waiting here, and it's not our fault, and it's not our office's fault. This, uh, I, I don't know what happened, but there was two loads, just like mine, right? The other one cleared just like that. Mine's taken over 24 hours. It's identical to the other one. Same paperwork and everything, just different like identification numbers on it. So whatever the case is, we'll be moving soon. Got my coffee here. It's not the best coffee. It's truck stop coffee. It's doing the trick. Staying calm, staying cool, staying collected, staying patient. Calm, cool, collected, Patient, calm, cool, collected, patient. <sighs> Better late than never, right? We got the truck here. Looks like there's another one right beside me. Let's go inside, check it in, and Britt will be here soon to pick me up. It's been some day, a lot of waiting. Beautiful day out. It's going to be a hot day. It's been very windy the last couple of days. We've had a very strong wind coming out of the south from the United States, up north here, and it's bringing up all that warm, warm American weather. So tomorrow, we head off towards Virginia with four drops ending off in Maine. So starting in Virginia, ending off in Maine. Gotta keep working, I've gotta keep busy. 
We need a bigger house. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're going to get there. We're going to make it work. Uh, it's not very easy right now in Canada to go through the housing market, but we're fortunate enough that uh, we own this house. We don't have it fully paid off. We still owe money on it, but it's, uh, it's a mortgage that we have. So when we sell it, we can get our equity back out of it, right? First time home buyers, it's terrible. It's very hard for them right now to buy a house in Canada. So we're fortunate in that way. That's why I say we'll be okay. We'll figure it out. And uh, I've just got to work really hard. I've got to keep working, working, working. I try to balance home time with uh, work. This is a good load headed out east there. I'm going to be pretty busy. If you guys remember, my, my good friend Moses and his wife Colleen, they live in Virginia. Maybe I'll get to run into them there. Maybe I'll get to see them. But I'm going to be in a big rush because I have four drops and I have to get them off. Bang, 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 bang as fast as possible. So it all depends. Uh, I'm going to around Roanoke, I believe that's what it's called. So it is in their neck of the woods there. I'll be in contact with them, I'll see, but most likely I'll just have to drop the drop my load there and start heading north right away, so see what happens. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? Hey. Hey. You getting tired of your chair? You wanna switch to the swing? Yeah? Or are you good? You good now? You're just having fun. You're just having fun? Okay. You want the volume back on, don't you? I turned the volume off so that daddy wouldn't get a copyright strike. Yeah. How have you been, Diesel? It was Diesel's birthday this past week. He turned 12 years old. Your birthday's coming, buddy. You turned six months. Six months old in September. That's a whole half year, man. The wiener over there, he turned 13 this year. And Frank, wherever he is, big Frank, well, he's old as dirt. So if you can find out how old dirt is, he's a day older than that. There he goes. We're not too sure how old he actually is. We'll just say old. You need to go out, bud? You need to go outside? Okay, we better take you guys outside then. I gotta put the little guy in his in his bassinet then. So in here, Britt was stacking up his teddy bears on his couch here, right? Thought it would work nice. We have dogs. <laughs> Diesel liked to come in here and grab them. So our solution to that was this. That was the, the first teddy bear basket and that wasn't enough. He's got too many. Had to put up another one yesterday. And then up here, this is the sign, uh, the guest board that my sister had made for our uh, baby shower. So it's got people's signatures on there that were there. Right. Goes nice in here. I think it turned out pretty good. Just a little bit of a lack of space again, but we're working on it. A few more trips. Just gotta haul a few more loads. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. It's kind of an odd day. The next day we're headed out to uh, Virginia, ending off in Maine. So there'll be some new scenery again. So don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. I'll see you then. You stay safe, you be safe, and you drive safe. <laughs>